So we're now going to look at the coach's observation skills. Uh, now that they're a little bit away from the game, I'm going to see if they can identify who are the best organisers in each team. I'm also going to ask the players who they think the best organisers are and see how aligned we are. We might explore why they're the best organisers. And then I think the next constraint might be that we uh, ask those guys to stop speaking and give other people opportunities to provide information. Now that we've kind of created this game where they're refereeing it and we can observe it is uh, and maybe split into two groups, work out who's the best on each team at providing information. So who's, who do you think is organising the best on both teams? And we'll see if you agree and we'll see how aware these guys are of it because it'll lead into some of the stuff around questions. So maybe ever on this side, ever on this side, who's the best on each team at providing information? Great kick. So out of interest, I'm going to ask the teams, blues and yellows just go together. Who do you think is the best person at providing information on the other team? So have a look over at the opposition and, and try and agree it in your teams. Uh, did you guys get agreement? Cool. So who did you who did you guys think was the best over there? Joe. 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 Okay. Cool. Well, why do you think he was the best? Always talking. So there's a couple of things in this. One is, I just think it's a great question to ask if it's something you're looking at getting better at. So maybe. We've actually banned the word communication, so we want to talk about, because if, if we say, well, what can we do better? Everyone goes, communication. And actually, well, what does it mean? It's actually just information. Um, and I'm more interested in what's preventing it. So it might be that you don't know each other's names. It might be that, you know, you just, you've just moved into the team or you don't have some calls or... So I'm really interested in exploring that. I love to know who's the best at it and why. So how about... If we wanted to develop it in the rest of these groups, what might we do then? What individual constraints might we put in on both these teams? Cool. So should we ban the guys who, who are the best talkers? You're, you, you, you're, you just close your eyes instantly. I don't want that, didn't you? And same there. So these two guys aren't allowed to talk. And should we look at the impact of it? Did you, so did you watch the other kids talking when, did you see how much he picks up when we do that? So we, we often actually really just love the kids that talk and I love the fact, was it your group, Kenshi, where you spoke about, well, one guy was actually really loud, but some of the, the little bits of information were p potentially more critical. So by those guys not being able to talk, suddenly everyone else has to speak.